Halinot mag-aral sa Grade 5 Math, Quarter 2, Week 7. Ang ating pag-aaralan ay ang routine and non-routine problems involving division without or with any of the other operations of decimals and whole numbers including money. Learning Task 1. Round up the items and estimate the quotients. Then write less than if the answer is less than or greater than if it is greater than than the actual quotient. Ang ating round up sa given na 28 and 4 tenths ay 28 at ang 7 whole number ay yun pa rin. Kapag isinulat natin ang sagot 28 divided by 7, the answer is 4. At sa given naman, ang answer ay 4 and 6 hundredths. Kung i-compare natin ang dalawa, ang magiging sagot ay greater than. Number 2. Ang actual ay 53 and 62 hundredths. Kapag in-round up natin o in-estimate, ito ay magiging 54. At ang 5 and 24 hundredths ay magiging 5. 54 divided by 5 equals 10 and 8 tenths. At sa actual naman, ang sagot ay 10 and 23 hundredths. Ang final answer natin kapag ikinumpare ang dalawang quotient ay greater than. Number 3. Ang actual ay 350 divided by 22 and 5 tenths. Ang in-round up natin dito ay ang 22 and 5 tenths, ito ay magiging 23. 350 divided by 23 equals 15 and 22 hundredths. At sa actual naman, ang sagot ay 15 and 56 hundredths. Kaya, ang ating answer kapag ikinumpare ang dalawa ay less than. Number 4. Ang given ay 411 and 93 hundredths divided by 4 and 8 hundredths. Kapag in-round up natin ang 411 and 93 hundredths, ito ay magiging 412. At ang 4 and 8 hundredths ay magiging 4. 412 divided by 4 equals 103. At ang actual naman, ang sagot ay 196 hundredths. Kaya ang ating final answer ay greater than. Number 5. Ang actual na given ay 600 divided by 44 and 62 hundredths. Kapag in-round up natin, ang 44 and 62 hundredths, ito ay magiging 45. 600 divided by 45 equals 13 and 33 hundredths. At sa actual naman, ang sagot natin ay 13 and 45 hundredths. Kung i-compare natin, ang magiging sagot ay less than. Learning task 2. Ang problem natin sa number 1 ay DESA and D bought materials for their project worth 276 pesos and 45 centavos. The girls divided the amount equally among themselves. How much is each share? Ang kanilang project ay nagkakalaga ng 276 pesos and 45 centavos at paghahatian nilang tatlo. Kaya, i-divide lang natin ang amount sa 3. 276 pesos and 45 centavos divided by 3 equals 92 pesos and 15 centavos. Ito ang kanilang share na babayaran. Number 2. Rico wants to buy a battery-operated toy car which costs 587 pesos and 50 centavos. He already saved 150 pesos and his ninong gave him 200 pesos. If he saves 12 pesos and 50 centavos a day from his allowance, how long will it take him to save the rest of the money to buy the toy car? I-add natin ang nasave ni Rico 
na 150 pesos at ang bigay na kanyang ninong na 200 pesos. Ibig sabihin, meron na siyang pera na 350 pesos. Ang presyo ng toy car ay 587 pesos and 50 centavos. Isubtract natin ang kanyang cash on hand o ang kanyang hawak na pera na 350 pesos. At ang magiging sagot ay 237 pesos and 50 centavos. Ngayon ay ang ating what is us, how long will it take him to save the rest of the money to buy the toy car? Kung nakakasave siya ng 12 pesos and 50 centavos a day, i-divide natin ang 237 pesos and 50 centavos sa 12 pesos and 50 centavos. At ang magiging sagot ay 19. Kaya 19 days ang haba ng kanyang ipagtitipid o magsesave siya sa loob ng 19 days. Learning task 3 number 1. Mr. Villa bought 91 and 25 hundredths inches of plastic labeling tape. He will use 1 and 25 hundredths inches long to label each box. How many labels can he make? So we simply divide 91 and 25 hundredths divided by 1 and 25 hundredths. And the answer is 73. 73 labels. Number 2. Roman's allowance a week is 250 pesos and 75 centavos. If he will save 50 pesos and equally divide the rest into 5, how much will he spend a day? Ang allowance ni Roman ay 250 pesos and 75 centavos at nakasave siya ng 50 pesos isubtract natin ang 250 pesos and 75 centavos sa 50 ang matitira na lang ay 200 pesos and 75 centavos ngayon hahatiin natin ito ng equally sa 5 200 Pesos and 75 centavos divided by 5 equals 40 pesos and 15 centavos ang kanyang gagastusin sa loob ng isang araw. Number 3. From a spool of ribbon 25 meter long, how many pieces of ribbon can be made if each needs 3 and 2 tenths meter? Hahatiin natin ang 25 meter na ribbon sa 3 and 2 tenths na meter na ribbon. At ang tanong natin ay how many pieces of ribbon can be made? 25 divided by 3 and 2 tenths equals 7. So ang magagawa sa 25 meter na ribbon ay 7 pieces. Number 4. Glenn was able to save 92 pesos and 50 centavos in 5 days, spending only 10 pesos and 50 centavos of the allowance given to him a day. How much allowance was given to him per day? Ang nasave niya ay 92 pesos and 50 centavos. I-divide natin sa 5 days. Ang magiging sagot ay 18 pesos and 50 centavos at ang ginagastos daw niya ay 10 pesos and 50 centavos kaya ang kanyang allowance ay umaabot na 29 pesos learning task 4 if a man works 8 hours a day he can finish a job in 12 days How many hours per day must he work to complete it in 10 days? Kung 8 hours per day sa 12 days, ito ay 96 hours. Ngayon, kung kukunin naman natin ang number of hours that he must work in 10 days, 
ang 96 ay i-divide natin sa 10. Parang papasukan na rin ito ng ratio and proportion. 96 divided by 10 equals 9 and 6 hours. Number 2, Mariela compared 9 different brands of ice cream and found that the average price of the 9 brands is equal to 254 pesos. As she was going to another store, she found two other brands that cost 282 pesos and 290 pesos, respectively. What will be the resulting average of the 11 brands? Kunin muna natin ang 9 brands. I-multiply natin ang 254 na average sa 9. So lahat ng total ng 9 brands ay 2,286 pesos. I-add natin ang kasunod na 282 pesos at 292 pesos. At ang total nila ay 2,286 pesos. I-divide natin ito sa 11 brands. Kaya ang final answer natin ay 260 pesos, ang resulting average of the 11 brands. Number 3. Mr. Makapagal covered 175 and 45 kilometers in his trip to the province. If his car consumed 12 liters of gasoline, how many kilometers did his car cover on a liter of gasoline? I-divide lang natin ang 175 and 45 hundreds kilometers sa 12 liters. At ang magiging sagot ay 14 and 62 hundreds liters. Maraming salamat po sa inyong panonood at pakikinig. Hanggang sa muli!